Okay, now I'm trying to record my screen. I want to just show you a little demonstration of how I found a method to restore my previous audio recording and functional settings as, as I had them in XP previously. Now, by default, I am told Windows 7 will actually disable the access to the inbuilt sound card functions. By that I mean a function which will enable you to record the sounds from your computer, not the sounds which come from the speakers directly, but the sounds which are actually come in as an input to your machine. Hence you can tap off the sound at the first stage rather than at the end stage, i.e. the point of output prior to the speakers, basically the last chain within the computer sound card amplifying stage that basically means that you by doing that you get everything prior to using Windows 7 I noticed I also had a separate slider and functionality input selection etc which was called stereo mix I used to use that a great deal for recording streaming audio but since installing Windows 7 this function has not been available and any program that is able to use it will come up with an error should I try to select it via the program which I'm using i.e. something like Goldwave you may see stereo mix available as a recording source as well as using speaker outputs which can be selected and you may get a relatively good result but often I've found you've had to have the volume control or recording control or and recording control should I say up at maximum with the stereo mix what you tend to get is the sound that come through your computer so the actual overall output control for the volume to the speakers does not have any bearing so you don't need to muck about it, you don't need to worry about it all you're interested in is the stereo mix slider anyway I'm told by default Windows 7 disables this particular function purely by accident I discovered a way of enabling it had I read the manual of gold wave not windows but gold wave it would have told me exactly what to do i tried various things re-downloading the sound card driver because of course initially it was using a default windows 7 driver which is now available but wasn't a while back when 7 first came out that's one of the reasons why I didn't really want to use 7 because that would have meant updating my motherboard and everything processor I would have had to buy a whole new sort of setup to modernize my motherboard which may potentially then have the v relative drivers on Windows 7 anyway not wanting to do that I've sort of steered away from 7 for a bit but now I'm back with 7 and everything seems to be working as well as it did in XP which is good so let me tell you a little bit about what you have to do it's very simple actually I've probably been waffling on far too long so let's get to the point just wanted to give you a little brief overview of the issues that I'd had and the problems and the length that I've been to trying to get this damn thing working. I'm sure out there there are a lot of people who are having a very similar problem. I know my brother also had a similar problem. I've yet to mention this to him. Hence I shall be posting this video and sending him a link to it. 
as it's easier to sort of explain using a video than it is trying to send a text message or even an email. So basically what has happened is the stereo mix function has now no longer be, been available via Windows 7 but was using XP. So without further ado this is what you do. Simple really. Don't know why I didn't discover it earlier. But there you go. It's not obvious initially. There's no buttons to click or anything. You you just basically click in an empty space within a window. So looking at the sounds control icon at the bottom right of the screen. Follow my mouse and you will see. Right, it's that one there, okay? So speakers one hundred percent pops up. Now, what we have to do there is right click and go to recording devices. Now, upon opening the recording devices dialog, as so, you'll see there is a various portions of your sound card devices I have a currently using the USB microphone which is actually an external device and not really part of the sound card um, the microphone again is an input which is part of the sound card which you can use to plug in a standard um, analog microphone I prefer this USB device very good quality quite happy with it uh, CD audio that's another one which is generally comes from your CD player line in is pretty much self-explanatory that's another one that's generally on the back of the sound card anyway the one that we're actually interested in here is this one at the bottom here called stereo mix now initially that wasn't available it wasn't shown it was only after clicking in the area here that I was able to actually enable it and then configure it so this is basically what you have to do you would go into the box and set up show disabled devices and also show disconnected devices just for good measure because that will also show all your devices on your system initially this box was ticked or should I say unticked unticked there you go like that um, and the stereo mix was disabled let's just uh, disable it now and see what happens just for a crack so we're using the microphone still that's no problem so basically when I've gone into my sound card settings as I did before let's just run through that again quickly okay down to that clickety click uh, recording devices I tried it all open the volume mixers this that and the other going into control panel couldn't seem to get this thing to work Goldwave would say that it was there and it was available as an input as soon as I tried to enable it I was getting errors so this is what you will probably see generally with a default installation of Windows 7 so anywhere in this box not here necessarily but in the blank area preferably show disabled devices show disconnected devices that's really what you want they are here but you've got other stuff as well but to make it simple just go show disabled devices there you go stereo mix real tech high definition audio disabled so once you've actually made it available you can show disconnected devices if you like as well but once you've made this stereo mix one this is really the one we're interested in you can then enable it blah 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 enabled pop your uncle you can go into your program now and be able to record direct from your audio source your streaming your sound you may be listening to from the internet no I mean anyway that's the way to do it so I hope this has been a useful bit of information